What can I do for you? Oh, all right. Let's see. Uh, let's get some stories going. Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal, and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. <laughs> I'm all out of stories for now. Oh, Sorry. Uh, You'll have on. to make some new ones. Alright, we can do that. Alright guys, welcome back. If you are on YouTube, thanks for joining Epic's Gaming Channel. And if you're on Mixer, thanks for joining Epic Tommy or what? Epic Sky. I'm Tommy. And we're playing Mass Effect again. Uh, it's been a while. I was rusty when I played it yesterday. I had this huge, like, robotic octopus in the sky. I can't remember what they're called, but... We, uh, we beat it eventually. <laughs> and now we're back on the ship, kind of wandering around, seeing what everybody has to say. And we're going to head back to the, not the Citadel, but the, oh, crap, whatever our ship's called. And uh, go to the database and see what is going on. There's some fishy shit going on, so we're going to figure it out. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No, oh, <laughs> if I gossip anymore, I'll get in trouble. Oh. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. So they live 40 years, but they're really, really, really smart. They're genius. But they're quick-lived. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. I don't even from the level I was fighting on. I'm not sure how he's here. Oh wow, look. There's this guy up there. Oh, it's neat. Okay, let's go talk to Sudi. See what she's doing. What's going on? I'm just trying to reacquaint my stuff. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. It operated like a telescope and allowed them, and us, to survey Andromeda all the way from home. Hmm. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost... ...the age of the soil, atmosphere, composition, there's even evidence that it can propagate life. Okay. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I think we've done it to one of them. The first one we landed on, we had to go to the vault, and uh, when we did the vault, it changed ecosystem to, like, livable. And then we dropped an outpost on it, and I think we put a military outpost on it. It was either that or a scientific one, and I chose military, I think. So we're going to talk about our faith now. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. <laughs> what do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Someone made it. Or they it. did something that caused its creation. Oh. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. All right. Thanks, Suvi. I should get back to things. We're out. Sounds good. Oh, wow. I like the control. What are you doing? You're freaking out, guy. This is a little robot I got that uh, fights for me. Phoebe. Oh my god, why are you here? That thing's not supposed to be here. That's a glitch. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's talk to her and talk. Or is it her? Oh, you know? Maybe that's the one she made. And then we have a military one. Hey yeah. What's shaking? How's your current project looking? Both observers are functioning as designed. 
most of so. Mine will never have offensive capabilities like okay. yours. Okay, there we go. She's just a plaything. Keeps me company. The kind of company I can shut down whenever I want, without hurting its feelings. Um, wow, whoa. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Maybe. Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. <laughs> it's all water under the bridge. Alright, let's talk about the crew. How are you getting along with the team? I'm keeping it light and pleasant. Even Lexi isn't exactly what I'd expected. And Jal... I'm learning what makes him tick. We're lucky to have an Angara with us. Asari can mate with all Milky Way species. Oh. I find myself wondering if that transcends galactic <laughs> boundaries. But don't worry. She wants to sleep with him. go to for stress relief. Um... Not necessary. You can go fuck whoever you want. Don't disregard Jal on my account. Yeah. Yeah? That's up. very open-minded. Right? Truth is, I'm not the type to dance with multiple partners. Oh, nice. But a little harmless flirting never hurt anyone. <laughs> oh, Thanks fuck. for chatting. We'll talk again later. Maybe. You know it. Ah, uh, you know it. Man, her and, um, one of my other characters says the same shit every time I leave them. You know it. You know it. I like y'all both say the same thing. I don't like that. Alright, uh, let's go talk to these people. How do I run again? Oh, man. Your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Uh oh. Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. Fuck. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Lexi. She's the doctor on our ship. Ryder? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating... ...particular. Aww, you didn't I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Okay, cool. This helps. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Freak! Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. Alright, nice and short, not bad. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. Cool. How's Liam? A handful. Every <laughs> time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. Oh. How's Cora doing? Cora's commando training makes her think Asari have all the answers. Just because we live longer doesn't mean we can't screw up. It just means we have more time to make mistakes. Alright. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. A lot of humans. Ask away. Alright. Oh, I need to put her in the team. Shoot. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. Okay. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Mm, I need to throw her into the team. I haven't used her hardly at all. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Huh? Tight-lipped about himself, though. Hey, right, Drac. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Rex awesome, man. He's like a Grandpa Rex. Or, you know, if you follow the other ones, you get that. Krogan. Um, Phoebe... Oh, gosh. Is PB all right? PB. Still can't get two words out of her. But she seems less tense after that stunt with the escape pod. Oh, yeah. I blame you. <sighs> Dude. She totally said, come to this... The, to check this escape pod out, and then blah, blah, blah. And she's like, check it out, I'm drawing. She locked the door, hit the button, and he ejected us off the ship into the escape pod into a planet that we had to fight off it was fucking crazy it was good it was it was a great little surprise though but i didn't see it coming <laughs> thanks for the insight 
She's like, sometimes, don't you want to just get out of here? Let's get out of here. And then she hits the button. And then, We fly. Betcher, this is one of those talking. Check her out. I always have time for you. I was curious about you and Sid being on your own from such a young age. She has a yeah, sister. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. Oh. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. Oh. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whenever my dad did, destroyed sure. any chance of that. She reminds me of Garrus. Palavan? No, we'd already left Palavan by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year I like old. Her sunglasses. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being huh. up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Cool. You probably Ooh, have work to do. We can chat later. Never rich, you know but to got to comfortable. Me. Remember that, guys. Alright, um... Oh, science bot. Wait, what? Can I... Oh, but the R rewards. That's all I get. Do I have any points? Zero. Oh. Freak. Alright, um, let's go in here and see what's up. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Uh-oh. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. Um. Uh, let's... Uh, let's go this one. We can't show them. It's too late for the Exalted. We can't let feelings get in the way. That's what gets me. Fuck. The Exalted aren't converts. They're Ket. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas oh. together. Expand our guerrilla tactics. Get Angaran military advisors. Research Exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. That would have helped. You and I can handle anything. You don't need his take. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get Be hurt. Be strong in yourself. Like now. You got the this. The initiative's plans are shot. And people die because of it. Plans wouldn't help, man. We, this is all new, okay? We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the cat. Yeah. Sarissa will have a strategy. You got this. There Just you need go. to find her and the other Asari. There It'll be go. good to have certainty again. Cool. Let's talk to her again and see if she has anything else to say. Back again? Let's talk about commandos. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. <sighs> Part of the Council's cross-species military integration I initiative. I love the music. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari Huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo. Trained biotic power on a starship means <laughs> accidents. <laughs> but Shit. we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. 
Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. Damn. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. Cool. Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. Ah. I miss yeah. them. No, what? I want stories. See you later, Cora. Come on. I'll be here. Uh, gotta make more stories, guys. What was that noise? Is there something I can scan? New, new bug? What about that? No. Ugh, not ugly. Don't like it. You, go away. You're not supposed to be here, man. You are not supposed to be in this thing unless that's a new update. Research center. Weapons. Huh. I wonder what I'm using right now. Uh, oh man. Oh, I was sporting that. That was a fun one. What else was I using? I was using that at one point. What else? What's that? A shotgun? A venom shotgun? What's that? Oh, for some... No, you know what? I like my weapons right now. Oh. I can. Nope. You know what? I'm not going to make anything. Uh, let's do armor. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. That's new, it said. 11% shields plus 3 are new. What else is new? These are new? Seven, that's not... Hmm, what is that? Just a katana shotgun? Encounter. Hmm. This is a good one. I use this in two a lot. Or three. Maverick Skirmisher Chest. Uh, ooh. Hey. Um, let me read about this. Wow. I might get, hmm. Why not? I might get it. Yeah. 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 Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Um. Combat. Damage, resistance, weapon damage. Only one of those, though. So. Max health. Uh. That's kind of neat right there. I only have two of those, so. Freak. What do I have a lot of? Not many things. Okay, let's go with the three. What's that? Shield booster? Sure. Um, let's go with, uh, sh that two. What else is three? What's that say? Okay, well that's interesting. I've never seen that. Ultra rare. Okay. And one more. Um freak. I like this one. But we're only two samples. We'll go bigger shields. How do I make it? Um, oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh, that's a mm, okay. 
Okay. Too much crap. How do we, uh... Wonder how we hmm. Whatever. Well we were gonna make some badass armor, but we're going back out. Um Alright, we accomplished that. Um, we accomplished that. Okay, good stuff. We made all our missions. Alright, let's do this one. Let all our teams have mercy. We got a lot of teams, don't we? Okay. I think. Do I run again? Alrighty. Gara were fighting their own this whole time. Fuck. I wonder how Joel's taking it. Not well. Hey. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Cat. Fire and explosives are good against anything with heavy armor. Or anything, really. Generally, no one likes being set on fire. <laughs> Generally? There's a story behind this. Ha, <laughs> there sure is. You mentioned that people generally don't like being set on fire? <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> you'd ask. So, about 400 years ago, give or take a decade, me and my outfit were pinned down during a skirmish with another Merc group. Head and breach their barricade. Pop my flamethrower and get ready to let go. Only to see them all screaming and running away. Turns out I crashed through a shipment of Turian brandy on my way in. Never even noticed I was on fire. But they sure did. <laughs> Never seen a pack of mercs panic that badly before. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Ascendant, hmm. Keep your distance. Don't let him get you in those force fields. Pop that little orb, then shoot him in the head, just like anything else. Tell me more about f Fiends, uh, kid. Even I'm not gonna mess with those at close range. Keep your distance. Shoot him in the red. He can't flank him. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always <laughs> works for me. All right, we're done.
Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. What are y'all doing to my thing? Come on, I need a way out. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just... How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm... Great, just, uh... Yeah, I told you I screwed up, and I have. <laughs> Remember Varand? I contacted me, Angara. Uh-oh. She's gone. The whole oh. group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. Um, how is this your screw-up? You seem pretty sure this is your fault, but I'm not hearing why. Yeah, um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nav points. Oh, Why would you do fuck. that? We need to know how to live here. Dude. I tried asking. I tried taking. No one would help outsiders. So I took initiative. Mm. Gave her data and text so she could mod it. Mm. Varand was... She is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Shh. Varan's people are tough. They'd have fought if they thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. We'll fix it. We'll take care of it before it's a problem. We got it's it, It's already bro. a problem. <laughs> I got a lead from a trader. A grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. Oh. Your I system. also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. <laughs> We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. Oh, man. And... Sorry. No worries. Whoa. Whoa. Remnant, go away. I gotta talk. Still waiting to find that pirate hiding place to get Varand and the damn date to ride past her. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. Let's hang out and drink, bro. Yeah! I didn't know this is an option. It's out there somewhere. Another day, another million K closer. Every little bit helps. <laughs> Sweet! That was cool. We need a pool table. Guys, need a pool table. What are y'all doing with my truck? I need to get some new paint jobs for it. Now, where's Cora? I heard another voice. Cora? Hello? Um, okay. How weird. I heard other people. So that uh -huh. looks good to you? As if any of you want me to park the bucket test. Hmm. You lost me. <laughs> you all humans try to ruin everything. <laughs> or just you. We'll talk later. Uh, I'm unhappy with us right now. Wait, what? Oh, shh. What? Okay. Maybe I... Oh, dude. What did I do? Alright, fuck it. Let's see a couple more spots, and then we are leaving. I know he found out his people are being transformed into aliens. Maybe that's why he's such pissed off. I wonder what decision I said, or I don't know. Whatever. Okay.
Hello, writer. How are those jokes coming, Sam? What is green with red toenails? No idea. What is green with red toenails, Sam? A Krogan masquerading as a cherry tree. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, thanks, no. Sam. Nothing no. more. Robot, you are not supposed to be here, man. Seriously, get off. We done? There's a doctor around here somewhere. Angara. Alright. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? <laughs> it's complicated, Subi. Oh. All right. I like that sunroof. The, the space roof, I guess you could call it. Call it. All right. We're going to... Old um, orbit is steady. Oh, we did that. Remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit? What? Amazing. That's neat. We fought two of them. Where's the other one? I just want to see what's over here. Something's here, I think. I guess I've already found this. To carry forward. Weird. Take picture, damn it. I always forget that.
Alright, here we go. Hmm. Bad kitty. No. Kitty, stop. My cat is trying to get food. I'm trying to tell her not to. Kitty, stop. Alright, delegation on Nexus. Let's read about this. Making an alliance. Victory in bold. Cool. Outpost on Vold. Nice. We're uh we're getting units for water and stuff. Ancient AI rumored. Oh shoot. Reincarnation, huh? Alright. That's neat. I still was very clear that this wasn't a military operation. I can see that. It's... I mean, if the cat decide to focus on them, I worry about them, but... It makes them feel safer, doesn't it? Just a bit. You! You're the Pathfinder! Thank you so much for returning the Moshai to us. She's important to our mission. She's important to us, period. Thank you, whatever your reasons. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. Oh. He'd be honored to speak with you. Alright. Let's go talk to him. What are you talking about? A vortex? A, reminder a vortex is a bar. They... He was being honest. He was being an ass. Consumption of alcohol in public spaces is strictly prohibited. Any more talking? No? I tried. It's like they spawned. I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? Does dwelling on what-ifs help anything? Things are the way they are. I can't just forget my father. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. Okay. A little chat with Vitra. We haven't talked to her a lot. Hey, Ryder. I was just being honest. Ever just think I miss home? Every time I do, I feel guilty about it. Cultural exchange. Here we go. The head of their delegate, or I don't know what they said, is in here looking at. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me. Issa de Navarre. We're glad to have you, Ambassador. Strong ties with the Angara will strengthen us both. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. Uh-oh. So much life. All different, all united, the way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the scourge. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions.
Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Especially when your initiative's first colony is a military outpost. Oh, I yeah. want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. Forgot. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They will guard my ship. You are not conquerors. I trust my person to your honor. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Cool. Pavoa set Jaffa Ravon, Pathfinder. Oh. Welcome to Andromeda. Well, yeah. Sweet. I think that went really well. Where are we? <laughs> I have no idea where. their own genome. Meaning all living beings are just a big buffet to steal from. Many species can say that. Only the most primitive can do it by force. Oh. This must be living court. Can I go in there? Nope. Every step we've taken in Andromeda has been dangerous. The initiative needs to defend itself. That was weird. Why'd you say that? Previously, for a mission, what if I can open any of these? No, nope. All right, let's go. Interesting place, isn't it? Cool armor, bro. Full of smiles and handshakes. Shit. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Given our situation, it's smart to show we truly come in friendship. <laughs> though in these times, you should be prepared for the alternative. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachnor, a Heskarl cool. with the Resistance. A Heskarl? <clears throat> Heskarl. Well, centuries ago, Heskarl were special forces. 
We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Cool. Few remember us today. Oh. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Nice. Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. He's read they learned to us. fight in all environments on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? Yeah. He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Ooh. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Oh. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. <laughs> okay. I... what? Um... I don't have time for this right now. Oh, it's done, finally, it looks like. Hello again. What do you think of the Angara? I'm thrilled to meet a new culture. They're cautious, but I understand why. If someone showed up on our doorstep in the Milky Way, we'd be skeptical, too. I hope we can win them over, cement a friendship. I suppose that's on you. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. Oh. You've already brought us our first visitors by making contact with the Angara. Cool. Have you heard anything about the Ket? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. <laughs> I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. Thanks. Of course. Odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is HNS. Okay. 
What are we looking for, Sam? Any information relating to Gene Carson's death? So she was a room that was all messed up. Gene Carson's room earlier. All the papers were thrown everywhere. Alright. Hmm. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. Oh. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. Cool. Alright, back to the room. Whoa. An anonymous source? Pathfinder? I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. <coughs> content Excuse is king, and her Ugh. content is really Excuse touching me. a nerve. Whew. All right. Talk to you later, Davis. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, just that's it, really? All right. Hydroponics report oxygen production is done. Supply request is in. No, that's dispatching only to your location. Certified with our firearms. Can't a new species? What if I, you know, offend them? Screw up everything our diplomats have done. You're showing them guns, Syax, not how to use a salad fork. Uh. Secure message from intelligence. Requesting armor cam footage. That was weird. Hydroponics report oxygen production is nominal. Alright. Apex team leaders reporting back. Apex leaders already? Welcome back, Pathfinder. Please select a topic. You are Employee Rider, Salary Code 19B, Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Ouch. For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For Colonial Affairs or Outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For Station Maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For Militia Operations or Apex Deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Okay. Anchorage Wheel Construction is now resumed. Water Treatment Systems are undergoing overhaul with new resources. Cool. Cool. The Planet Vold has been officially classified as Viable for Habitation. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda.
We're done here. Oh, we don't like him. He's a douche. Something's going on with that idiot. How are we doing on the viability front? Aiming for success. It sounds pat, but you're living up to the job. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold on us death? <sighs> People are eager to help. The shortages are obvious, but you're turning it to inspiration. Havaral is a draw for the research-minded, despite there being so little established. It remains unusual despite the corrected vault. It may yet be a surprising producer. Too much beneath Vold. Some are calling it beautiful, but not when I'm around. Poetry <laughs> remains off limits. Director Addison? Goodbye, Pathfinder. All right. How may I assist? Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. It feels more like Excuse me. living. All right, guys, we're going to take a break here. Um, I'm going to feed the cats, probably feed myself, and another video will be up very shortly. Everybody on Mixer, thanks for joining. Epic Tamiya 1. If you want to follow, please do. I usually play something all the time. <laughs> and if you are on YouTube, thanks for joining Epic's gaming channel. Y'all, it is a rainy day here, so it's going to be a game day. I hope you all are having a great day at work, great morning, great afternoon, wherever in the world y'all are. Just remember... It gets better. Have a great day. Later, y'all.